All right, 646 for you this morning, and this month is World Autism Month, and quite often when there's a diagnosis of autism, the search begins for those resources and just what to do next. Our Carrie Hall spoke one-on-one -on -one earlier this week with nurse coach Bina Bendale to get advice for parents. So a nurse coach is a board certified um, coach. And what we do is we use a holistic approach to help people with where they are presently and where they want to be in their life for what they want. And so I think for me, when especially when my son first got that diagnosis with autism, I went through this period of mourning. I had to just mourn the loss of what I thought life would be like. It was really trying on my family as well as a marriage. And you often find that there is not a lot of resources um, for parents to go through this. So tell me about that support for care caregivers and what's needed for the people who, um, you know, the adults in this that have to go through it. Yeah. And, you know, when we talk about there's a lot of resources out there for kids. And when I went through a very similar situation where my eldest son is a nonverbal autistic and I had to go through that same type of mourning system, mourning where I wasn't sure what he was going to do. So now my goal is, is just for him to be functional in life. And so that's kind of why I developed Real Life with Special Kids is to give that parents the support that they need and to release the parent guilt and how to integrate like siblings in the journey. Because when you have a child with autism, you also people need to remember that there's a whole other aspect to it. The caregivers, the moms, the dads, the grandmas, the brothers, the sisters, the aunts. Like it's a whole new acceptance. And when people don't understand that one autistic child is one autistic child and each one has their own differences and each one has their own strengths and, you know, overcoming that social stigma is hard. It's really hard to do. And so here in my business with Real Life with Special Kids, we really help support the parents with their process and what they need and giving them the sense of community where they feel belonged. All right, you touched on it there talking about your son, Carrie. I know this hits very close to home for you. Yeah, so I have a son who's 11 who's on the autism spectrum, and then I have my six-year-old daughter who's also on the spectrum. And so we go through these things, and then a lot of times you have people come in, and there's like, okay, here's the support for your children. But you're like, what about the caregiver? Because right. I need some care, too, to be able to take yeah. care of them. And so that's kind of what Bina offers. And for me, when my daughter stopped eating, if you've been following my story about about a year ago, she stopped eating, and Bina was there to give me information about G tubes. And her son also has a G tube, and I had no idea about this stuff. Right. Told but the world. there are so it's many real. people, especially children, who have problems with eating, are extreme picky eaters, or may stop eating altogether. And a lot of times, that's one of those problems that go hand in hand with autism. And so, one of the things that you learn is not to force your child to eat. There is something wrong mm -hmm. that you need to get looked at first and then you know you need that support of people around you to give you some good nuggets some information let you know where you to go from it, there do you find that it's hard to find those resources oh, though yeah. oh, that's what's key is yeah. getting those resources to people who need them especially people who have been through it right. and can give you some advice mm -hmm. and you know get, point you in a good direction so that's really helpful and so Bina is you know a nurse coach she helps parents as well to give that support for parents, but also that in turn helps the children. And she has really big dreams of opening some centers here in the Bay Area. And so that is so needed at this point because there is such a great need in the yeah. Bay Area for autism services and child, uh, children with special needs. So uh, that's def definitely something we'd like to see happen here uh, just because there are so many parents that need that. And help. I would imagine yeah. there would have been setbacks during the pandemic as well, oh, not yeah. being able to go mm -hmm. and see people face to face. Yeah, and so that is really key, is having those people in the community face-to-face -face who can help you. To and help those faces yes. that we love. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're pouring so much out, and you mm -hmm. want someone, you know, hopefully and thankfully someone can pour it to you. Yeah. That way you can keep giving. That's nice. Absolutely. So, yeah, we're just trying to make sure that people are aware, they're accepting, and also helping to build those communities. Of yeah. course, so important. Well, thank mm -hmm. you for sharing, too, I'm sure. Thank I know, no doubt, it's helping somebody else. Yeah, too. definitely. So.